the Trump administration on Tuesday evening published two conceptual maps of the State of Israel and a future State of Palestine as part of the Peace to Prosperity plan unveiled by President Donald Trump at the White House alongside Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Trump said in his speech outlining the plan that both Netanyahu and rival blue and white leader Benny Gantz had endorsed his vision as a basis for negotiations. He also said Netanyahu had authorized the release of the maps. The maps show Israel, the West Bank and Gaza Strip as a single unit, a series of numbered Israeli enclave communities in what is today the West Bank, territories marked as set aside for, a future state of Palestine, a West Bank Gaza tunnel, access roads, strategic sites and other features. Get the Times of Israel's daily edition by email and never miss our top stories, free sign up Israel is seen to include the territory immediately to the west and north of the Dead Sea, and extending further north along the Jordan Valley. Land swap areas to the Palestinians are marked out in the Negev, stretching from Gaza along the Egyptian border. Netanyahu, in his address, agreed to abide by the conditions set out by Trump in his plan, and also to extend Israeli sovereignty into areas that the U.S. has indicated it will recognize as coming under Israeli law. Vision for Peace conceptual map published by the Trump administration on January 28, 2020, Israel will apply its laws to the Jordan Valley, to all the Jewish communities in Judea and say Maria and to other areas that your plan designates as part of Israel and which the United States has agreed to recognize as part of Israel, Netanyahu said. The Palestinians preemptively rejected the U.S. plan. Vision for Peace conceptual map published by the Trump administration on January 28, 2020 Let's Block Ads. Why?